Alright guys, um, as you can tell from that intro we just did, uh, <laughs> we've been pranked by, I'm gonna call the Antichrist. Uh, I don't know who it is, but they left some 666s six, six, on here, and some upside down crosses with some blood and some fire. Um, I've got no clue who did it. Uh, as you can see, I finished up my hole. Yeah, as Nell calls it, the glory hole. But, um, it's quite massive. Uh, I finally get to start building on my base. I cannot wait. I've been waiting so long to finish this freaking hole. Uh, we used a little bit of TNT, uh, which is why half of this is missing. There's torches blown off and there's blowing a, a hole in the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and hopefully find out who did it sometime. But, uh, I will be back with you guys once this is removed. Alrighty guys, and I'm back. Um, as you can tell, our hole is complete. And I didn't make a map wall. Uh, I got some glass cooking up in here. Uh, I made, like, 12 stacks of cactus green dye. Uh, it's all gonna be cyan eventually. But, um, we're gonna work on the bottom layer, which will be a slime farm. Because this entire thing is a slime chunk, I guess. Or a bunch of slime chunks. Whatever. But, uh, I went and gathered a ton of ice and packed ice, as you can see. There's packed ice, some ice, and there's more ice. And then we got science, then clay, and a bunch of snow. But for now, we're gonna use snow, because we're gonna need a, quite a bit of it. Um, probably don't even have enough snow, actually. Might have to go get more eventually. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab some of this, see if that's enough. Go down our ladder. Whee! You can actually go all the way down and not die, so. <clears throat> I've tested. As long as you have Feather Falling 4, you're good to go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put a layer of snow here, going all the way across. I'm not gonna make it, um, a solid snow. Um, this is just for these walkways that I have planned. I did, uh, did do this in creative as well. So I have a, a creative world of this, basically. Not of the server, but just of this hole that I dug. I did it in creative. Well, MC edit, whatever. But, um... We are gonna do this all the way across here. And this design is gonna be a little difficult to do for a slime farm because it's on the corners. The edges where they're circular. It's gonna be a little difficult to make a slime farm out of that. Um, I did one, but I couldn't get 100% efficiency. So I'm gonna try to tweak it a little. Oh, there's some stone there. I'll have to come back and get it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty well. Hopefully. Hopefully I did this whole circle right and it's not all jacked up. And it's definitely, uh, I probably... I should, I, uh, I should have brought some blocks other than snow because if I fall into a too wide, I mean a too deep hole, I ain't getting out of there. Unless I have blocks, which I guess I'd have to use snow, but... I'm hoping... The center of each one of these, where they meet, is big enough to put the beacon in. It's my my hope. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we'll see what happens. I haven't tested that. I just finished this yesterday, like at 3 in the morning. So, I'm still working on designs, but I came up with this one for the, the slime farm. I thought it'd be cool. It's kind of a cooler color. Ice and snow and cyan stained glass. So I think it's gonna look good. <clears throat> we'll find out once it's done. Well, I already know. You guys will find out once it's done. <laughs> uh, by the way, we are almost to 100 subs, which is insane. But I have something planned. It's not nothing big because uh, I don't want to start too big. But if you do want to be a part of the 100 sub special, um, Make sure you comment below, because I don't have everybody's channel. Because some of you guys have it so that it's hidden, so I can't see it, which is fine with me. I mean, I have the same thing, so. Get a little lag down here. 28 frames per second, it's weird. See? Yeah, I can't get out. <laughs> uh, oh well, it's the way snowball. 
Uh, is this where it needs to be? Right there? I think so. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, I was thinking about implementing the over under 4.0 onto the server, but I don't think I will because it's way, way too fast for what the server could probably handle. Um, I haven't tested on levels yet because I'm still trying to figure out how I can control them easier. Because right now, the um, Endermites uh, spawn like mad when um, Endermen teleport, and they just glitch out. They just stand there. They never die. It's just a bunch of entities. So I might wait until the update, another update comes out, another snapshot. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, to test that, to mess around with it, uh, because it causes way, way too much lag. Which I don't want to do for everybody on here. And even if I did do it on here, I'd probably only do one layer instead of three. I just heard a creeper. Anybody else hear that? Or is it just me? Huh, weird. Strange. Probably fell back in this ravine. There's a ravine right here somewhere. Or... Uh, yeah, right here. There's a ravine over here. Uh, I'm not gonna get onto that. I guess I don't have to. We can do it like that. These aren't gonna be just perfectly square and straight. Um, we're gonna make a little curve to it in there. I get rid of that stone. I'm trying to get rid of all the stone that I can see in here, because there are there is gonna be glass and oh, there's dirt. So you can see underneath, and we don't want to do that. We don't want to see a bunch of random stone and dirt under here. I was thinking about using the whole you know break bedrock trick with trees, but um, you know how long that would take. <laughs> It'd take forever. I don't even know if I have enough saplings to even try that. Because then I could go into the void, just have a uh, a little roof right here, and then the void underneath. You know how freaking cool that'd be? It'd be awesome. I don't think anybody's ever seen that before. Unless they did it in creative. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. It'd take way, way too long. It took long enough just to dig this hole. So, I think I'll, I'll leave it as is. But, uh, once this design is done, and you guys like it, hopefully... Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, yeah, I think that's done. Yep. Okay, so... Now, there's... Let's see, we go back... I'm trying to remember here. I think it's back three, and then... This right here. Eh, yeah, snowballs. I think that's correct. Um, not sure, actually. I'll leave it as is, but uh, these can go. They don't need to be here. But what I was hoping was the center part where the, this piece is, is enough to fit that beacon, which I don't think it is, actually. I don't know why I'm getting so much lag down here. Whoops. Maybe it's the freaking bedrock particles, I don't know. Go back to our ladder. I need to go get some uh, cyan glass. It's hard. It's hard as crap to navigate all this. <laughs> Practice some parkour right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Again, it's spring. It's starting to be spring, and all the freaking trees are blooming and causing a bunch of pollen, which is allergies. Whoops! I forgot to get rid of those. Well, I'll get rid of them when I get down there. I don't even know I have enough stained glass, actually. I probably don't even have enough to finish one row. Uh, it's over here. Genius. Put some snow back. I didn't think I'd have enough snow, but I still gotta use some more. Uh, let's go ahead and do this right here. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for my throat. And we'll carry my silk touch with me in case I break it. And... Wee! <laughs> scared myself right there. Uh, 
But this is... I don't know what I'm going to do with the walls. Um, I guess we can put that back. I was thinking cyan stained clay. But I wasn't sure. That's my plan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. And um, I'll be back with you guys once I have this done. Alrighty guys, and I'm back. Uh, I ran out of glass, and uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work here. Um, this is what it's going to look like here. So I had it wrong when we first did it, wherever it was. I think it was right here. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be like this, and then comes out like so. And then right here, I'm going to go all the way across again. Hopefully I have enough snow. I don't know if I do or not. So we, uh... <clears throat> I have... Let me see. Let me see. I have Hero Brian's skin. As you can see. We were, uh, trolling Droplet the other day. It was kind of funny. Let's go check out his video. <laughs> it was, uh... ZDF. ZDF did most of it. it was ZDF, me, and then, uh... Neilium underscore Arca, or his YouTube channel is Neilium APG. Also, say go check him out as well. He's got a pretty good build he's working on, I think. It's uh, his storage room. It's pretty awesome. I helped design it. <laughs> sort of. Uh, there's actually a shop now at Spawn. I think it's uh, Nels. He's selling glowstone because his witch farm. Which he sold the ones that I was going to buy, dadgummit. Because I was going to buy a bunch. Nope, actually I don't know if I have enough snow to finish this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ninth block back, it goes out, over, and go away. Okay, go away. Here's slime. Somewhere. Yeah, the problem is this entire thing is basically a slime junk. So that's why I'm using glass here. And this snow is actually going to be covered with a quartz half slab. But um, the reason I'm not doing that now, well, the only reason I'm doing it is so it could stop slimes from spawning. But the only reason I'm putting snow is so you can see it on the sides. I didn't want to use quartz, because that's a ton of quartz. I mean, come on. Who would want to do that? That's a ton of quartz. Yeah, packed ice goes in here. And let me reach it. Thank you. Which, I, I went and farmed packed ice for like an hour. And I, I still don't think I have enough to actually finish. Uh, starts here. I don't even know if I have enough ice. There's that slime. Probably spawned on the piece of snow and then fell off and got stuck. Give me that piece of ice, thank you. You're an Enderman, too. Where's he at? <laughs> uh, they obviously, they, I know they can't spawn down here. Ah, oh, there he is. But they can teleport and fall off and stuff into the holes. I guess I'll have a pet. I should name him and have a pet Enderman down there. <laughs> uh, it'd be kind of funny. Oh, we found Booga. Well, we didn't find Booga Booga, but we, um, I made a, uh, creeper farm, I guess you'd call it. I made stairs and wood. Go out in the back and lure some creepers into the thing. And they're all, there were like 12 of them in there, and they all named Booga Booga. And we have a plan for them. I think I talked about this in my last episode, or the episode before. But, yeah, we definitely have a plan for those guys. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this side up. I just wanted to show you what I was doing. And uh, hopefully I can get some more of it done, but I will be back with you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys, and I'm back. Um, I got most of it done. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off, on this off with you guys. Um, then we're going to go up and take a look at it. And then I think we'll take a check at spawn. Show you the spawn building, because I did that last episode and I never finished it. But I did finish it off camera, so 
We'll take a look at that. And I wish that um, Packed Ice would break as easily as Ice does. Look at Ice compared to Packed Ice. Ice, Packed Ice. Packed Ice is that. Ice is that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I have Efficiency 5, Silk Touch Pick. And then I even have a Haste 2 on. And I still it still takes that long. Don't you shoot me off, skeleton. <laughs> Enderman teleport. Whoa! Oh man, that was close. Wow, that was close. You almost got me. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I hope that beacon fits dead center in that. It'd be perfect. I got a feeling there's gonna be mobs up here. So let's uh, go ahead and get my sword out of here. Yeah, I like that. That's gonna be nice looking when it's done. Eh, eh, eh. No. Let's uh, all this up. My OCD, yeah, I'm almost out of ice. I have to go get some more. We'll see. I don't know if I use it anymore on this build. That creeper up there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like the colors on that. I still don't know what I'm gonna use it for the walls. Um, I'm gonna go. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think I should uh, use? Die. Hold a freaking egg. You shouldn't be able to hold an egg anymore. We're in 1.7.5. Well, I'm in 1.7.4, but the server's in 1.7.5. So I shouldn't be doing that. I am going to go to spawn, and I will show you guys what has happened there. So I will be back with you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys, and I'm back, and we are at spawn. As you can see, the overender has changed. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. That, that thing right there. Um... Yeah, we moved it 255 blocks up and put in a minecart elevator. I'll go up there and show you guys what's going on. Uh, the only reason I moved it up to 255 is I think that the mob cap is different at 255, so it increases uh, the chances of the Enderman coming through. It's pretty quick, especially since I'm the only one on 30, 30 in there. Uh, it'd be a lot quicker if um, if I use the Endermite thing, but um, I don't know if I'm going to do that on here, because it might be too quick. And then we just have a drop shoot down. But, yeah, and they die over here. Um, they die over here, all the items get sucked in and put into the CIS building. Uh, there's Booga Booga. One of the Booga Boogas. But this right here is going to be the Cromagnon Fried Chicken, the CFC. Uh, you'll be able to come through with your horse or whatever. And you'll be able to press a button. And chicken will pop out. And you can just leave a whole stack of chicken, I think. Uh, it's probably going to be free. Maybe. We'll see. But um, it's in the works. just want to show you guys that. Um, all the eggs that are coming from the mob farm over there. Being put into the CIS and then put into the storage vault. So we have three chests full of eggs right now. And they will continue to keep going and be pumped into there, and then fall down into a little chamber where they'll be killed, and, you know, chicken. I have no idea why somebody put a freaking door here. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Why would somebody do that? <sighs> yeah. We have one more Booga Booga over there. These are all Booga Boogas. But, um, there's one more that's been struck by lightning. But there is the spawn building, and there's... Uh, Nell's shop. I don't know if he wants me to show that yet or not, but I already did, so too late. Um, yeah, so here's the floor. The uh, the ceiling. Uh, in here, still not done. I gotta finish it. It's a piston design, but eh, I can finish that later. I like how the uh, the ceiling works. It's kind of cool. I like the floor as well. Um, hoping everybody keeps the same kind of design. Colors. A lighter light colors like this. Yeah, you can buy some glowstone for diamond. 32 pieces for one diamond. Not a bad trade, I guess. Um, I'm going to be buying a, about a double chest full of it, so <laughs> I'll be using it quite a bit in my base. But um, anyways, guys, I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please move to the east side of main of the main spawn building until the corridor is complete between CIS and main spawn. Thanks, CIA. CIA is not the, you know, United States thing. The 
whatever it's called, Central Intelligence Agency or whatever. The CIA is Cro-Magnon Industrial Alliance. So, yeah, that's me and Nil at the moment. Uh, we'll have a base somewhere around here. I think I think it's up here. That's where we're going to have it. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a path from there to CIS. And then along this is where all the farms and stuff will be. And then over there... I mean, I'm not, not going to keep it going all the way around there. I'll probably end it right where this hill is. But that's where all the farms are going to go and around the top of that mountain and all that. But anyways, guys, that's about it for this episode. So uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Um, we're almost to 100. We're at 95. And that is absolutely insane. I thank everybody for that. Um, can't do this without you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. And uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Uh, we also have 13 or 14 stack. I mean, uh, double chests of gunpowder, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next episode.